literally when I heard the name of this foundation, I thought of two songs. One was Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Get Guap. I remember that song. <laughs> This song was it in middle school in Oakland. Like everybody was so hyped when this song came on. This is what I thought of when the foundation came out. It's a wrap, wrap, wrap. Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Gigi the Diva, and today we are going to be doing a foundation review it's not a first impressions but it's more like my thoughts on wearing this foundation i've been wearing it for a week now so it's going to be on this foundation which is the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation mine is in the color classic tan and it is this neutral very sleek bottle make sure you check my social media links down below and i'm so excited to bring this out because this is going to be perfect for all my looks for Halloween yes I am planning those right now you know your girl is all about Halloween so if you guys want to hear more about this foundation because I know that's why you're here right so keep on watching let's go so let me give you some specs on it super affordable it is $15 so if you do get one fluid ounce in the bottle so that's a pretty good amount of foundation in this bottle a little bit goes a long way it's very very pigmented so you probably don't need very much because it is full coverage the other thing about this is there's 45 shades Alyssa Ashley teamed up with NYX to go ahead and create this amazing shade range so there's one for every single one of us and I love that um, in the PR packages I was looking on YouTube and they were like inclusiveness shouldn't be an option and stuff like that and I'm like yes agreed so I love that they have so many shades and literally they're going by undertones which is the best thing ever because every one of us has very different undertones even though we could look the same you could be more pink and I could be more olive tone you could be more yellow you could be more red like things like that and so that really changes the way foundation looks on every person and so it's so great that they went and took undertones as the main main thing and developed every shade from that although this is not a first impressions I've been wearing this throughout the week so I wanted to give you guys my thoughts my my genuine thoughts on what this foundation is like well, we're gonna get into a demo here and for me personally I like to use this with my beauty sponge so this is the real techniques beauty sponge I'm not going to prime my skin and I'll share with you a little bit after why I'm not going to prime my skin so with this you do get a pump on it and that way it's just easier for you to squirt out it's very sanitary you can put it on the back of your hand on your little makeup palette I use about two pumps and I just want to make sure my whole face is super coated I'm gonna take a little bit on my sponge and we're gonna start applying you notice I have some dark marks and stuff here so let's see how well this applies to it okay so initial thoughts are you can completely tell from this side versus this side you can tell right away on this side how completely flawless and matte it looks it looks just like skin but better as if my skin had no imperfections one tip that I will say when applying is make sure you work in sections and the reason why I say that is because I've noticed that when um, you apply this foundation because it is so mattifying I feel like um, it dries instantly so when you do put it on it dries to the touch you won't feel anything okay so after doing that I'm gonna go ahead and use some banana powder for me personally throughout this week wearing this this has really helped me I have no oil coming through so, so I'm gonna stick with the method that works best for me and that is powder after applying this In 
remind you it's not a heavy powder either it's just a very light application of powder that I'm going to be putting on and it's only on my problem area so the t-zone and especially right here because I only sweat right here for some reason I don't know girl don't know why I do that but um I only sweat right here and it drives me crazy like it's so annoying but this has really helped me control that too so I don't know what is in here but it is my secret stuff and I love it let's finish the rest of my makeup then we'll come back and talk about this okay so after our complete transformation is done now we're gonna do the wear test which I forgot to do when before I put everything on but it should still work the same so let's go ahead and get our piece of paper as you can see there's completely nothing on the piece of paper I'm gonna put it down here because obviously we don't put anything there so so I press it in three times and there's still nothing on the paper so honestly the weird thing about this foundation it's not weird it's weird in a good way but it's you just don't feel anything you don't feel stickiness you don't feel any like dryness it's not sucking out your skin but it's not wet you know it just it doesn't have any feeling that's why it's very much like skin but better so when they say that this is truly that so the good thing about this is obviously it transfer proof so you can wear it and not worry about it getting all over your shirts getting all over your man getting over your pillowcases anything like that so you're good to go with that so that's a check on this the other thing about it they claim that it's 24 hours I would say you get about 12 hours of wear good wear out of this I wore it to work of course I had put it on early in the day went to my cousin's game then wore it to work for eight hours so it did go about a little bit over 12 hours but it was still perfect did have a tiny bit of breaking through but usually my terrible areas are right here right here and right here and then of course the sweating so it always like takes away my makeup from sweating right here so much but when I came home still intact the other thing is um, I noticed a lot of people reviewing the color beige mine is the classic tan I almost got beige but it looked too yellow so this one is described on the website as tan with pink I don't really feel like I'm pink all the way but I am definitely neutral and this was in the neutral category so I felt like this might be the closest to what I am and I think it's a pretty good match looks pretty good looks pretty spot on so I'm happy with it Shin, I don't know what's in here but it does remind me of the Melka Magnesia and even though that's not formulated for the skin it did help a lot of oily girls keep their oils in check and you know for them not to be melting their makeup off every day so the thing about this though is obviously it's formulated for your face so it has the reminiscent of Melco Magnesia but this is for your face which is perfect because you can wear it and not feel bad about you know keeping your oils in check so I really love that something has really came out for everybody who's super oily because I know that like I tr I was so sad that I was the only person at work with like oil sweating everywhere and everybody else's makeup is just fine because they didn't have oily skin so I'm glad that I'm in the game now and I ain't oily so that's a plus that's another thing checked off um the cons I have about this foundation are that um after a week of wearing it I do feel like it does kind of dry out your skin so this shouldn't be an every single day foundation I would say this is like you can wear this sometimes a week or wear it to occasion because I feel like the more you're gonna start wearing it it's gonna dry out your skin just because it does do something to where it stop it helps stop oils from coming through so I've noticed that my skin is a little bit drier I mean it could really be coincidental but I feel like it might be because of the foundation so that could be something that you want to be aware of the other thing is it's not available everywhere yet it's only available at two stores in ulta and nick stores and 
that's really all the cons I have for this foundation. It is beautiful. Um, like I said, it just looks completely flawless. You really, really cannot go wrong with picking this up. So if you are around Ulta, you got your points, you got NYX stores. I, I know there's so many cute little NYX stores that have opened recently. So if you live near one, you need to go and get shade match. Pick up this foundation. It is only $15. Like you really can't go wrong with it. Perfect, perfect, perfect for everyone who's oily. So I really love this foundation. It is two thumbs up. If I had more thumbs, I'd give it more thumbs up because it's really an amazing foundation. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and thanks for checking out my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and it would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time in the next video.